Hey, I'm Nick and I help people improve their productivity and discipline in order to reach their dream lifestyles. And today I want to touch on the importance of not just blindly following other people's advice and their habits. Because it's common to do so. It's very hard to make the switch from being lazy to being out there, getting work done and being productive. It's hard to make the switch from sitting on the couch all day, watching television, watching stuff like that, to being on your laptop, trying to figure out different side hustles maybe, and transitioning to that sort of lifestyle. And it's natural for that to happen. It's natural for you to feel some kind of abrasiveness from switching from a lifestyle that was so easy before to something that matters a lot more and causes a lot more effort that needs to be put into it. And because it's so hard and because it's so different means that it's common to just not know where to start. You can want to be disciplined, want to be productive, but when you sit down and stop watching TV for a while, you're at a loss and your brain isn't used to what you're doing and it doesn't know where to go next. And so the next step is that your brain searches out inspiration by examples. It looks at what other productive people are doing, how other people have gotten a start on their life and start being more disciplined and getting those side hustles and they take inspiration from others, which isn't always a bad thing. It can be good to take inspiration from some people and tweak it and find out what really suits you. But the main problem is that people do it blindly. When they see someone who started their side hustle as editing videos and videography like that, they think that that's what they should do as they have the applications and the ability to do it. So they get a start on that without thinking whether or not that's what they actually like and whether they assess it. And they don't actually look through and assess whether this is really the best option for them. And what this leads them to do is they start going down a path that they haven't thought through. They start experiencing problems and challenges that they weren't expecting and they aren't armed to deal with those challenges and they start falling behind because they don't understand the full scope of what's going on. They just see someone doing it and they want to be like that. So if you're trying to get a start on your discipline and your productivity and you're not sure where to start, it's not bad to look at what other people are doing, but don't do it blindly. It's good to see that somebody start their side hustle doing one thing and looking at what someone else did and comparing the two ways of doing it and figuring out what feels better for you in your heart, what feels like a better option for you personally. And once you do get that gut feeling of this is what I want to do, I want to be that productive guy who sits on their laptop and builds up a business, who sits on their laptop and creates something just out of thin air, just with nothing but the technology in front of them, then start learning about more, start learning about the big picture of that. And don't just copy someone word for word what they did. You need to find the bigger picture of what they were doing, of what is really inspiring you and make your own adjacent work that isn't just a carbon copy of what someone else has done. Because the goal isn't to be like someone else 100%. The goal is to build yourself up. And in order to do that, you need to be aware of what's going on. Be aware of how other people have done it. Take inspiration from how other people have done it, but still make your own personal work. And just to mention, this concept of staying aware of what's going around you is useful for all factors of life, not just, figuring, not just figuring out whether or not it's time to switch one business venture for the other or one way of doing things for the other. If you stay aware of what's happening, if you stay aware of how your brain reacts to what's on your phone, to the TV, to the shows, to the advertisement that's popping up, if you stay aware of what's going on and you stay aware of what your goals are, then you're able to also fight those bad habits and intrusions to your goals. That's it for today. However, if you're still interested in learning more about productivity tips or tricks, I've now started one on one coaching, which you can book a call for using the first link in the description below. But until then, I'll see you later.